topics related to elderly care are frequently being asked in OET examination. So today we are going to do one such topic where I'll be taking the position of the nurse and Jibin will be taking position of his son who is really concerned about his father's recent health. Let's see how it goes. Good morning, my name is Bindya. I'm one of the registered nurses working in this Comte Health Centre. Uh, could you please tell me your name? My name is Jibin. Okay, Jibin, I can see that you're really concerned. Could you tell me the reason for your visit? Yeah, well, sister, today I'm here to talk to you about my father. Mm -hmm. I just want you to know about my father because I have, I'm really concerned about his recent illness. Mm -hmm. So, you know, one thing like uh, he has been falling over more than before. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, you know, I think that he has lost a lot of weight. So I'm really concerned about this. Oh, I'm really sorry, Jibin, for what is happening with your father. But let me try to understand what is his name and his age. His age is 75 years old mm -hmm. and he is uh, Mr. Jacob. Okay. Well, Jibin, I would like to explain to you what I think might be the reason for your father's recent problems. First of all, it can be with his diet. Now, in elderly people, they don't enjoy the food they used to enjoy before right now. That can be due to the digestion problem or tooth problems. We really don't know the reason. But due to this, they'll have some problems with their nutrition and they'll have lack of energy. Thereby, they will not be able to do activities they used to do before, like exercises, which in turn can cause loss of appetite. Now, have you observed any of these on your father? Yeah, well, sister, you know one thing, I think I have to tell you this, because my father used to go for a lot of long walks before, mm -hmm. but nowadays I can see that he is going only for short walks. Oh. And another thing, you know, nowadays I can see that he's sitting in front of the television a lot of time, mm -hmm. and, you know, he seems to be eating very less than before. Okay. So I'm really thinking about this. Oh, well... I see. I think I'll have to ask you a few more questions about your father's health. Will that be a problem? No problem. Okay, first of all, I would like to know whether he's taking any medication for a long-term illness. Uh, well, sister, as far as I believe, I don't think he is having any kind of long-term health conditions. Mm -hmm. uh, but of course, he's taking some medication for his hypertension. Okay. And what about recent illness? Uh, he does not have any kind of illness recently. Okay. And how about changes in his mood? Uh, that's what I, I wanted to talk to you about because I was about to talk to you about that. Mm -hmm. Actually, you know, uh, he seems to be a bit quiet nowadays. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, you know, he's having, he's more withdrawn than before. Okay. So you're saying that he's quieter than before. Yeah. And what do you think is the cause of his fall? Yeah, well, I don't know whether it is a relevant point or not, but I believe that it has some connections with his balance. Okay. Well, thank you for explaining everything nicely, Jibin. Now, let me try to tell you. Well, based on what you've said, I think it is really important for your father to come and see the doctor. This is because he has to undergo a thorough medical examination, which includes blood tests, to make sure that there is nothing medically that is causing his current symptoms. Now, if there is any, there is always a way to treat him. But we need to check it first. So can you bring your father here? That's the main thing I would like to let you know because you know my father is a person who doesn't want to come to the hospital, mm -hmm. he doesn't want to see the doctors mm -hmm. uh, because you know he don't like this. Okay. So he told me that you can go and take some medications and he want me to give him medications. Okay. So I don't know, anyway, that's that's the kind of person he is. Well, I understand. It's one of the common concerns among elderly people. Now, what we can do here is that we can try explaining him why it is important to come and see the doctor and get checked out. Now, if there is any medical problem, we can treat him. But if he does not come to the doctor, it means that we won't find out the problem, what is in him. Then, and it can end up in some serious complication. We don't want that to happen to him, isn't it? Yeah. And moreover, you can also encourage him to come and see the doctor by telling him that you'll accompany him, which might improve his confidence on the matter. 
What do you think? Can you try doing that? Of course I can try that, but I don't know whether it is possible or not. Because I also want him to be consulted by a doctor. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, like as I told you before, he's a person who does not want to come for the hospital. Okay. But of course I'll let him know mm -hmm. about your suggestions mm -hmm. and I'll let you know what it is happening. Yeah, and if you have any problem there, please let us know. We'll All be right. more than happy to help you. Now, when you came in, you told that you were really concerned about your father's recent health and we discussed about the possible causes and also the importance of meeting the doctor. Now, do you have anything else to add here? Uh, no, as of now, I don't have any concerns. Well, now it was really nice talking to you. Have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, Jibin, you were a wonderful son in this role play. Thank you so much. Okay. Now, in this role play, you can learn a lot of things like how to move from one topic to the other by using signposting statement. Along with that, you can also understand how to ask questions and how to reply to it. And towards the end of the role play, you can see that we were summarizing the whole role play or the conversation. This is one of the best way to check patient understanding. And if you do this, I'm sure it is going to improve your scores. Now try practicing this in your role plays so that you get a better score in OT speaking. With that, thank you. Thank you so much.